In today's video, we are going to spend some time analyzing what might be, well, no, what is the greatest song of all time. This is a new song from Lil Mabu titled Oppie Day based off the old song, I think it was called Happy Day. I don't even know what it is because this song just makes the original irrelevant because this one is is leagues ahead of the original. Uh, I mean, leave it to Lil Mabu for his uh, advancements in music. I mean, he's just pushing the boundaries of the musical experience forwards as we know it. So you got to hand it to Lil Mabu. He's an absolute genius. And you know, that really plays into the album title, Young Genius, which we'll get into that in this analysis. But yeah, uh, I hope you all are ready to have your minds blown by the lyrical and musical depth of this song, Oppie Day by Lil Mabu. So starting off, obviously, we see that the album is Young Genius. And I mean, he truly is a young genius. He is young and he is a genius. So therefore, the album is not is not lying when it says it. Um, so we start off with, you know, I'm turning over a new leaf. And this is in reference to him changing up his style of music a little bit uh, from the likes of Mathematical Disrespect, probably his biggest song prior to this. This is definitely a, a different direction. And it's all about keeping the peace. It's Mabu's first priority. In these lines, he is stating that his peace is a... Uh, his first priority or keeping the peace just any peace is his priority um Lil Mabu you know always got to be a pacifist what a great guy and this these are all spoken this isn't even like the song yet this is like an introduction to nourish your brain before you get into the actual song and then we have a little bit more talking we have yeah I apologize for any bad energy beautiful wow and he apologizes if he broke that piece I mean just in the introduction here we're getting into some massive lyrical depth and then we start with the uh, little chorus here i think that's what it's called and i know they're looking down from the sky from the sky and they wondering why they mans ain't never slide yeah never slide essentially what he's saying is the angels looking down from the sky and, and they're wondering why they mans ain't ever slide never slide i mean i couldn't have said it better myself and you know it, leave it to little mabu to come up with this level of lyrical genius and i mean this is why he's the young genius and this is why i'm just sitting here you know analyzing it this is this is the man right he's he's the guy he's the modern shakespeare almost and then we continue with the chorus yeah these hoes be so fake be so fake i'm tired of getting played of getting played wow he's he's been betrayed he's been backstabbed he's he's really opening up his heart and his emotions and his feelings in these lyrics for us and you know that just takes a different kind of person and their music to be vulnerable and of course, you know, Lil Mabu is thankfully, you know, gracious enough to share his feelings with us and that all these women he gets with, they're just fake. And he's just, he's tired of getting played. You know, he's trying to keep the peace, like he said from the beginning, but he's tired of getting played. He just needs a switch and you're going to stay by me. So if, if he has a switch, which is a word I can't say on YouTube, then they're not going to leave him because obviously if he threatens the girls they're not going to leave him i mean if he holds them hostage with the the item the switch then they're not going to leave so he's essentially saying how are they going to play him when he has them hostage so great clever uh analogies or no, i don't think it's analogies but uh thank you little mabu for explaining that you keep people hostage uh that's that's awesome I'm, I'm sure that's what he meant by that line but maybe it's just like leagues above my brain. I mean, Lil Mabu is the young genius and I'm just sitting here gawking over it. So I could be wrong, but that's what I gathered from that line. There's a lot of depth in that line. So it's hard to tell because we be having fun. So much fun. We make the ops run. Did you hear that? He makes the ops run. Wow. I mean, he makes the ops run when he pulls out that switch and he, when he's tired of getting played, you don't want to see Lil Mabu when he's angry. You don't want to see an angry kitten. Uh, let's see. What do we have next? They put their hands up when I play them my drum. So first he was comparing his uh, item of, uh, what's it called? Item of hostage holding to a switch, which is another name for it. Uh, but now, now it's a drum. So whenever he pulls out the drum, they put their hands up. So now not only are the women scared of him, he's scaring the, he's scaring the guys, the, the ops, right? Because Lil Mabu, you know, not only is this like, this guy like emotional and vulnerable and a genius but he's also he's also rough and tough you know he's, he's also able to stand his ground he's aggressive he's not gonna get pushed around i mean this guy's been through a lot he's been getting played all these fake women and he's not taking it anymore so he pulls out the drum and all the ops go running you know what i'm saying and this is probably my favorite line of the song and y'all better duck before i turn you to lunch and there, there's a lot going on in this line so 
we can just read it how it is. Y'all better duck from his his drum or his switch. The the ops better duck before he turns you to lunch. I know he's gonna eat you up. You're just gonna be something like lunch, something simple, right? No, we can also look at it in the perspective that duck as food. Y'all better duck before I turn you to lunch, saying that he could eat duck for lunch. I mean, this is genius. This is 3 million IQ wordplay. This has never been seen before in the history of music. Uh, this has to be the hardest line in the song. Uh, uh, this is definitely my favorite. I, I would have never been able to comprehend anything like that, so good on you, Lil Mabu. All the oppositions bleed in. It's that time of the month. Oh, I forgot about this line. All the oppositions bleed in. It's that time of the month. Okay, that's my favorite line. Um, this is, there's so much to unpack here. I mean, he, he's calling out, uh, the same, or it doesn't have to be the same, but he's the, the same species of person, you know, women that have been playing him and being fake, whatever. These, these woman, wom woman's women, uh, during, during one time of the month, they have what's called a period and, you know, they go on their menstrual cycle and he's, he's pointing that out because it's that time of the month for them, which means they bleed during their period. And so this is, this is a reference to that. Which could also be referenced earlier in the song when he's talking about uh, him getting played. So, just just a heads up, you know, that might be what he's referencing to. I mean, we got lots of cross references in this song. It's it's very well well organized. Uh, wow, that's that's just a banger line. And the the rhyming, y'all better duck before I turn you to lunch. All the oppositions bleeding. It's that time of the month. Wow. I mean, that alone could have been song of the century. That alone. But we have we have all the rest of this still. Um, let's have some fun. You better not run. He's he's essentially saying this is gonna be fun for him, right? You ticked him off. You made him an angry kitten. He, he's he's no longer gonna take this lightly. So he's gonna have fun with it. And you better not run. You better not run. You better. Da da. If Mabu said don't run, don't run. So now essentially he's saying if I say don't run, you must listen to Master. You must listen to Daddy. You must not run. Do not run. If Lil Mabu says do not run, don't run. It's like Simon says. Simon says, don't run, except for it's Lil Mabu. Lil Mabu says, don't run, so you better not run. You're gonna fight, you're gonna fight this switch and drums, you're gonna have your hands. Because Lil Mabu, he, he, he's gonna need his switch, he, he's not he's not doing no hands. But uh, you're not gonna run, anyways. We're, we're closing in near the end of the song, so let's go ahead and see if we can analyze the rest of this here. Let's go on a mission, here are the steps. Listen up, listen up. Okay, so he's he's telling all of his the people on his side the plans to slide on the ops. Find the people who drop in your set and put them to bed. So essentially, all, all of his ops, this is just another reference to his ops, you know, he's got to use his clever wordplay and put them to bed. And by put them to bed, he means, you know, eliminate them. Uh, can't say the word either on YouTube. YouTube doesn't like their violent words. Say goodnight and tell them, don't let the bed bugs bite. So he's even at the point to where he's putting them to bed, you know, like, getting rid of them he's going to tell them good night and don't let the bed bugs bite because obviously they're going to bed and that's what you say to someone before they go to bed if you don't you know tuck the homies in give them a kiss good night and say don't let the bed bugs bite then what are you doing right even with his ops he's telling them don't let the bed bugs bite what a nice guy even even through all this he's getting played the oppositions are sliding like and he's still you know tucking them into bed and give him a little kiss on the forehead new ops yeah we smoke them a lot new ops mix them up inside the pot I mean, this is just rhyme central. New ops, yeah, we smoke them a lot. New ops, mix them up inside the pot. So now he's got new ops. He took care of the old ones, but you know, just like any artist in modern day age, I mean, you think of Taylor Swift, you think of Kanye, you think of Drake, there's always gonna be haters, right? You're, you're big artists, you're always gonna have haters. And no matter what you do, if you get rid of some, you're gonna find more. So Lil Mabu's basically saying, yeah, new ops come along, we'll smoke them and we'll mix them up inside the pot with the other haters. So no matter how many new haters Lil Mabu gains, he's just gonna mix them up in the pot and he's gonna smoke them a lot. He's gonna tuck them into bed. It's like a little, th th those are the step-by-step -step instructions. He's gonna, he's gonna find his new ops. He's gonna smoke them a lot. He's gonna mix them inside the pot. He's gonna, he's gonna put them on the cot and watch till they rot. I'm basically, uh, I was gonna say I'm basically Lil Mabu, but that's like comparing yourself to like FDR or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't happen. Um, I, I only dream to be as good as Lil Mabu. But yeah, and that's that's an analysis of the greatest song of all time. And if you still, after all that, don't believe that this is the greatest song of all time, I think you need to listen to this at least 10 more times so you can understand it. It might not, 
you know, makes sense for the average human mind. Uh, with the average IQ, I don't think it's possible to understand the brilliance of this song, but with enough listens and enough musical analysis, uh, everyone should be able to enjoy the song as it truly is, I believe, the greatest song of all time. So thank you all for watching my analysis. If you enjoyed or agreed, uh, please leave a comment down below. If I missed anything, please also leave a comment down below. Tell me what I missed. What lines did I miss? Did I get something wrong? I mean, this is a very, very complex song with a lot of intricacies and a lot of small moving parts. So let me know if I missed anything. Let me know what you think of the song down below. Uh, if it's your favorite song of all time too, and yeah, let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I know I already said that. Peace.